So I was born, you know, in Germany. I'm half Jewish. My mother was Catholic. My father was Jewish. And I became known later on in America as writing fantastic religious music. So, so I'm an atheist, you know, it's amazing. So I started with uh, commercials. We did commercials for the biggest companies, Coca-Cola and this way. Then I came to Broadway and I started to conduct like a show with Lawrence Olivier there, Lotte Lenya, Joseph and Baker. Yes. See, they're all timers, they're all gone, all gone, all gone. I'm still here. I don't know for long, but I'm still here. That's anyway. So I go from one thing to the other. So ask me a few questions. Synthesizer is nothing but a new step in the evolution of musical instruments. I was always interested in sound, in music. And about 1969, for the first time, I met Mr. Robert Moog. I asked him, how much, how much is it in Vogue? He said, about three and a half thousand dollars. Now, 1969, three and a half thousand dollars would be today $35,000. At the time, I told my wife, she said, get it. This was my last money, by the way. It's a fantastic instrument, it's unbelievable. Endless possibilities. So when I composed originally, it came immediately to me, you know? but then I had to develop it, right? I was sitting there in 1969, and you know, I was involved with sort of classical music, and I, and I was improvising. They da, they da, sounds little like invention by Johann Sebastian Bach, you know, they da, they da, da. And I put a little rhythm behind it, and then uh, people liked it. So I went uh, to the West Coast and made a recording at the time for, for Audio Fidelity. I said, hey guys, I don't have a name for the tune. So one guy said, popcorn. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I said, oh, but wait a moment, it's not what you think. Popcorn. Pop is for pop music and corn is for kitsch. <laughs> I had always $25 for each one who can sing the song once thing all the way through. <laughs> Nobody can do it. <laughs> the story, they always make mistakes. And all the versions that come out. Five minutes? Yes. Some of the big hits happen in five minutes. I'm sure when the classical composer, when Schubert wrote this line, he said, da, 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 he wrote it also in two minutes. It became a huge hit there. You know, everybody knows the song in classical music. Now what I did, played all the wrong notes, as I said, succession of wrong notes. But this is a little fantasy of by the original composer. <laughs> <laughs> 